Well, hey, Sun Valley, I'm glad you're joining me for the devotional today. I'm out here on one of my favorite hiking trails, and it's been a while since I've come here, but every time I make it out, I'm reminded of just how beautiful it is. I'll just sit here in the quiet, and I start to see the glory of God's creation. When I get out here early, I view the sunrise and begin to count all the different colors in the sky. Today, I noticed that some of the trees were leafing out, um, and I started to take notice of like the unique shapes and different designs on the leaves and the bushes and cactus, how they're all different colored flowers on them and all the variety and different types. And then the, the different textures of the landscape, the rocks and how they erode to make these unique shapes. And then I noticed the different sounds, the birds singing, um, the sound the wind makes as it moves across a saguaro cactus. And I think all of this is God's design. He could have made things differently, but he chose to make these things. And these things tell us a little bit about who God is. And when I realize that, I, I have gratitude. I start to thank him. I start worshiping him for the beauty, the diversity, and the design of his creation. Uh, and normally for me, I'm guessing maybe you too, we, we don't take time to really pay attention to the natural world around us and what it may be telling us about God. We live in a big city. Phoenix is now the fifth biggest city in the nation. And we're surrounded by these big buildings and lots of concrete. And although there's nothing wrong with this, it can prevent us from connecting to God. See, we were designed to love God and appreciating and loving his creation is, is part of that. When we get out in nature, we start to notice things about God because he speaks to us through his creation. And in our scripture today, David is he's doing just that. He's, he's out in nature observing and declaring some truths about God's nature. If you have your Bible ready, pick up with me here. Uh, we'll be in Psalm chapter 19, verses 1 through 4. And, and here's what it says. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. And so if we break that down a little bit, David's saying some powerful things about God. That God is glorious in his size, having created something so vast. He's glorious in his engineering, having created something that works together so well. He's also glorious in his artistry, having created something so beautiful. And he's glorious in his goodness and kindness, having created something for all of us to see and enjoy. All of us. It's a universal language that he's spoken to us. We can all understand and, and appreciate it. The Apostle Paul uh, expanded this idea in Romans uh, chapter 1, verse 20. He, he said that since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. He's basically saying we have no excuse for rejecting uh, the God who gave us such clear and beautiful evidence of his power and wisdom. And I'm sure you've experienced seeing something so beautiful in nature that it took your breath away. And you had no excuse in that moment not to worship God and give Him the glory for what you've just seen. But in your day-to-day, -day, when was the last time you took a moment to be with God in nature and just listen? Now, you may be like me where you love to get out and hike and explore, connect with God that way. Uh, but we don't have to get out into the mountains or go to a beach to do this. We can simply go to our backyard or a local park and then give thanks to God for what we observe. The point is to connect with God and remember just how great He is and that He's in control. He's the creator and we are the created. And along with all creation, our purpose is to worship Him. So let's not be in too big of a hurry to stop and enjoy that sunset. And then when we do that, let's, let's not forget to give credit to our creator. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your creation. Um, we thank you that we were created to appreciate it. And so now I, I just pray for all of us that you um, give us wisdom so that we can maybe slow down 
and take a moment, be still, and, and know that you are God, and thank you and worship you for what you've made for us. We love you, Lord, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.